Well, there has been a 133% increase in drug overdoses over a four-month period in the city of Frankfurt. And now a panel is meeting to discuss the surge. As News 18's Alexis Moberger reports, the city's chief of police says it's a problem that they can't fix alone. I don't want to see quaint little places like this become run down because because of our drug problems. Frankfurt police say the number of drug overdoses this year is unsettling. I see what's going on and how sad it is that, you know, this problem exists. Um, and, you know, kind of wanted to think, what, what can we do, if anything? Just, just have a discussion about it. And a discussion is what Chief of Police Troy Bacon is planning. A panel is set up Tuesday night to think of ways to help combat 133%. Scary that something as uh, devastating as heroin or I guess any other uh, narcotics and drugs uh, have that percentage of a, of a rise in our community. Police say it's a burden they can't fix alone and the community needs to step in. We need loved ones to, to look at their kids or, or their friends and family and say, I think you might have a problem. Let's get some help. I know some of these individuals. Uh, I can see physically the way that drugs are affecting them. We spoke to one woman who says she wasn't ready to talk, but her grandson overdosed just a few days ago. We've seen deaths uh, from those overdoses. The county coroner says there have been four deaths possibly related to drugs since April 1st. Those toxicology results are not back. When you find one source and stop that, another one's going to pop up. Someone's going to take their place. That's the difficult part of, of drug enforcement. Bacon says people can buy heroin for only $10. That's a scary low price for something as devastating as heroin. Police hope the panel Tuesday will be the start to a solution. As a millennial, I'm, I'm worried to start a family when things like this are a, a big concern for us. Alexis Moberger, News 18. And that panel will meet tomorrow at 5.30. It's not open to the public. Instead, Chief Troy Bacon invited the sheriff's office, educators, pharmacists, EMTs, and others uh, that deal with addiction. Bacon says what comes out of the panel discussion could help point the city to the next step in fighting the problem.